Hi, welcome to this tutorial. This is for the early adopters that I'm making this one. So you have already Arch Merge 6.0. What's going on, Eric? 6.1, what the heck? Okay, let's go into it. We have, of course, our website. I need to, don't probably need to point it out, but anyway, I'm showing you. This is the summary of the releases. So 6.1, 6.0, 6.2, and so on. But this one is the intermediate documentation. You can follow what we're doing. So the Arch Merge Beta Edition. So that's with what we've done since 6.0. That's all the steps we've done and voila. So I'll go over with them with you. And that will be that. So a quick, well, well you know me, not a quick, a long overview <laughs> of uh, what has been done in 6. Point, I mean, till starting from 6.0 till 6.1. First of all, we listen. Yeah, we do. And people said, okay, Eric, uh, all good, but you don't have an office. Why, why is there no office? Well, I want, didn't want to, the ISO to become too big, but you're right. So it's in, bomb, all right? Um, other people also wanted the Umox. My personal preference, not really, but Umox can be great in an, the open box environment. So that's in, but it's not in here. So it's more an open box kind of a application. So I filtered it out. The applications that are really, really actually suited for um, open box and not for XFC, they will not show up. They will not be in here just to avoid, avoid confusion. So that's all to help you guys. Okay. Um, LibreOffice and all that. Um, there were some uh, fonts, Microsoft fonts that were missing. And if we are a Steam player, if working with your game with uh, Steam, then the fonts were a bit off. So it's in there. Now it uh, looks awesome. What else? Let's move up. Um, Samba is something we want to have out of the box, meaning we should be able now to browse our network and see everything available uh, on your network. You see the Windows, the Linux and the Mac. Everything should be um, viewable already. Shareable, that's something else. Samba is installed. That's a name you should remember. Samba is the name for uh, tool to share but of course you have to tell him to share you have to make in an, uh, a user and a password so that's in another tutorial but it's there it's just one command and that's okay screen key has been applied you know this thing I from time to time do I have to type this screen this thing that you see here so that's applied because of my tutorials all the time it's a little program 10 kilobytes whatever it's it's nothing but it helps me a lot and helps you a lot so you can see what i'm typing we've done some um, changes in the touchpads so um, do take a look at the, the uh, and try it out on a laptop and tell us whether it's a better system like uh, like it is now so the touchpad uh, settings are new um yeah there were some conflicting keyboard shortcuts like the control esc in open box that's gone uh, we fixed that what else there's an uh, extra service in there for uh, battery service for laptops screen key i told that we improved of course the iso that's a general idea to improve the iso on its own and the calamares installed is improved and there's an uh, alias that's something we should tell you guys an alias so what is an alias? Ooh la. <laughs> something like that. You can use your when you type something wrong like I just did, you can make an alias for it. Uh, people always type alias and then forget the space bar, the space, eh? and then it's actually changed into uh, the typo is changed into the correct code. So that's an alias. Okay, like this one, present working directory, it's pwd not pdw but we do it all the time and it's frustrating so you can fix this with an alias but these ones are the very nice ones so update your complete system is this one 
that's uh, the one I'm used all the time. And this one is the one that I wanted to share with you. So that's a new one. These two blocks and this one is a new one. And sometimes I type mirror with an S. So voila, both of them work. So what is mirrors? Mirror or mirrors, both will work. It's going to check what's nearby. It's going to start to program the application reflector and it's going to look what's the fastest system here in the neighborhood and it's going to sort it and that's it so what i can do now is say okay are there any updates available on the system and then whoa yes there are updates available and it will just update you can follow along so version 5 and that's going up and that's going up and let's just do its work uh, what else we made some extra logos uh, so there is a conky there is a config conky and here we have all the conky so if you want to have a conky let's activate a conky conky zen you know how to do it then you go i don't know across up there it goes take some time wait for it there it is all the info is there we're on a virtual machine that's why this thing is blank and that's variety for you changing the wallpaper. Okay, I was talking about the conky and I wanted to tell you guys that you can have a lot of fun with images. Look at those, change them, color them any way you want. It's these things that you want to have. The SVGs are the ones you want to edit and say, look, I want to have this color or that color or that color because of a wallpaper that you like or because of anything. So it's up to you. It's um, Close that saving. It's up to you to change it to whatever you want. And also with the arch merged is somewhere in there or not. Yes, here's the one arch merged. There's a one liner and there is um, a two liner and so on. So have fun with it. Yeah, let's have a look. I think I saw a typo. Yeah, there's a problem. This D is falling out of the design. So I have to make a new one. I thought I saw something. So, okay. We have uh, images. We have uh, logos. That's nice. Um, what else, Eric? Yeah. We changed this here. Open box. We have right mouse click. In open box, we do super space bar. And then we have the menu. And the menu is actually this one. And this one is actually a program. It's OB menu generator, but if you don't like that and you just want to do it manually, you can, well, rename this one and rename that one to menu.xml. And there you go. You can have this, this uh, XML file, which you can just edit and say, no, I don't want this. I want to change this. And then you change it, you save it, and that's it. That's a manual menu. So it's corrected, it's better, it's improved. But we won't use it, but if you want to use it, it's there. What did we install from software? Quite a bit, quite a bit. So the LibreOffice is in. But if you type firewall, firewall, there's a firewall in there. If you type simple scan, there's simple scan in there. There are lots of plank teams. Where is our plank? We don't have a plank. So there was the plank. Here, so the plank. Um, there are seventy eight, I think, something like that. So just go and check them out. There must be one you do like and just matches with your uh, system. Okay, plank has a lot of themes. What else? Well, one of the things we always find difficult and we didn't try it in Arch Labs because we thought, ha. Um, this Lua thing, um, is it dangerous? Should we do it or not? We don't know. So we, it's a test. Here you have a Lua here, a clock that's working. We decided to go with uh, Conky Lua Archers. We show. So what you do is we have, we want to have a Conky and it has some tiles in it and a clock and, and all these awesome things, but then you have to decide what should you take. Eh? Conculua, that one, this one, that one. There's a kit version as well. 
So we decided to go for this one and we'll see what our users will say if everything works out of the box. If it doesn't work, you you, you uh, uninstall this thing, Conky Lua Archers. So sudo pacman minus r and then Conky and bam, enter, it's gone. And you install something new, something that works on your hardware. But every everybody reported that it works. So why not include it? So less trouble for us and everything just works out of the box. That's our vision. We have also ZSH, so there is a bash, um, which is this look, but you can also transfer or change the terminal look to the ZSH. We have added the completions and the syntax highlighting. So that's already, and oh my, a ZSH as well. So that's that. It's still installing, probably. Um, let's go for the, 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 the 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 icons yeah we have installed more icons as you can see already i'm using something special something strange some of the icons will not pop up quite normal since uh, they don't know that we have an arch a merge and uh, that's why but ooh la la some of the wallpapers i really don't like so variety and then delete to trash bye better much better so we were talking about icons so faba is new and paper is new so it's up to you to look what you like again if icons are missing quite normal i don't think they know that we have an arch merge hello application or a conky zen application so that's um, normal that these guys i think it's sam made it Okay, but okay, it's it's a nice look we have anyway. What else? Some typos, so I'll not go into that. ISO improvement, that's normal, business as usual. And then we're, uh, we're uh, okay, so this is the difference between one and the other. For my, for me, for my taste, for my feeling, I think the Samba and the network detection is the main uh, change and the major change and the easy way to just in having samba working is uh, is just awesome it's just one line you have to put in tell them that your user eric and a password and done uh, share a folder and done okay enjoy um, arch merch so the video was for the guys who, who were already using arch merch 6.0 and that's the difference cheers